Hi, my name is Arav Modi and I'm an Alexa skill developer, blogger, and programmer. I'm in sixth grade and I've developed several skills for Alexa. I'm so excited to be speaking at Project Voice. I'll be talking about some of my learnings from my Alexa journey. So far in my experience with Alexa, I've learned many new things, encountered many difficult situations, and I hope that my learnings can be of benefit to you as well. By the way, I'm really excited for Paul Kutzinger and Nick Schwab's keynote sessions, as well as the Emerging Trends panel with Tim Kale and Adva Levin. See you there. I'm giving a talk on reducing gender-based marginalization in conversation design. So here's what that means. Because conversational interfaces are built by humans, and because we carry our own biases with us based on gender, it's really easy for those biases to show up in our work and influence the behavior and responses of chatbots or voice experiences. Obviously, we don't want to build conversational interfaces that are sexist. So my talk will cover five concrete actionable ways that you can assess your work to ensure that you're not introducing gender-based marginalization into your chatbot or voice experience. And one more thing, a talk that I'm really excited to see is Brooke Hawkins' talk on ethical considerations within the voice landscape. Hi, I'm Andy Bellavia. When I'm not doing this, I work for Knowles Corp in the Hearing Health Tech Division. That and my inherent curiosity inevitably led me to seek a better understanding of the voice first landscape and where it's going. Speaking of, hey Google, play the latest This Week in Voice. Sure, here's the latest episode of Welcome This Week Welcome to the Hearable Future. Hi, my name is Rebecca. Tommy and I are going to give a talk about content challenges moving our NPR work from Alexa to the Google Assistant. We've run into several situations where things that sound easy, ideas that Rebecca or other designers we've worked with on the voice platforms team um, have actually been really difficult to implement or even impossible. Um, so we're going to talk about where the platforms are right now, um, where we think they're headed, and the kind of things that we hope to be able to do in the near future. Yeah, and one of the talks we're very excited to see is about chocolate. <laughs> we think it's about chocolate. It's called My Box of Chocolates, a storytelling experiment with Alexa. And we're hoping there might be some free things in the audience because NPR people, we love storytelling. And we love chocolate, <laughs> especially in the morning. Hi, my name is Dottie Daniels. I'd like to tell you a little bit about my session on Tuesday. I've been studying for a doctorate in conducting research on speech recognition for the past three years. At the conference, I will be relating some very interesting aspects of education that I've discovered in my research, which, by the way, is on using Alexa with middle schoolers who are learning English. I'm really looking forward to Project Voice, and I hope to meet fellow educators Julie Davis and Rebecca Dwenger at their sessions. I'm also very eager to meet Arab, the fifth grader who loves Alexa. Looking forward to meeting you in January. In addition to my session, I'm also excited about Brett Kinsella's State of the Union for Voice Assistance earlier in the day, where we'll get a great view of the overall landscape. I am looking forward to hear Dr. Terry Fisher, who is doing really great work on flash briefing and healthcare. I am pumped for a session called The Secrets of Compelling VUI Design by Emily Lanetto from VoiceFlow. I'm a big fan of using VoiceFlow. I've used it for about the last 18 months to build Alexa skills in Google Actions, and I'm pumped to hear directly from Emily. I'm really honored and excited to be talking at Project Voice, and I'm looking forward to meeting everybody and attending the talks. I think the topic of privacy uh, is not getting enough attention at the moment, and that's why I'm looking forward to the talk by Nate Trelor called Ensuring Privacy and Security in Voice First World. Hey Project Voice, I'm Justin Batt, the Founder and Chief Data Officer of Daddy Saturday and the Daddy Saturday Foundation. I'm so excited to join you for Project Voice and share a session on the future of fatherhood technology. You know, look, I've traveled across the globe. I've spoken with fathers across the globe. The number one thing I hear is, I don't know what to do with my kids or how to engage them or how to do something that they want to do to create an epic moment or memory. So to solve that, we came up with an Alexa skill called the Daddy Saturday skill that allows fathers to do just that, to have an idea right there at their fingertips, even based on the weather, and provides the items they need for that activity in their Amazon shopping list. Makes it super easy on dads. You know, at Project Voice, I'm also excited about some of the other sessions. One of those is Going Voice First in K through 12 with Miss Julie Davis, 
make sure you stay tuned and check out that session as well. I think it's so important that we engage not only dads, but our kids using voice technology and technology in appropriate ways. In terms of another speaker who I look forward to hearing from, definitely Audrey Arbini. She really inspires me and her work in the field of sonic branding is really fascinating. Hi, I'm Dr. Bob Kolak. I'm really looking forward to participating in Project Voice. I'll be giving you a presentation that I've entitled Thoughts from Both Sides of the Stethoscope with Alexa in the Middle. I'll be pulling from my experience as a physician, a medical director, and a patient, and I'll be giving some use cases about how Alexa can help us before, during, and after an office visit. Uh, I hope you'll attend and I hope you like it. I'm really enthusiastic about this, this conference with so much to learn. Uh, one of the presentations that I'm really looking forward to is one that Dr. Terry Fisher will be giving about best practices on uh, flash briefings. Um, I think that should be really exciting and interesting and, and hopefully you'll enjoy it too. One talk that I'm super excited for is Shilp Agarwal's talk on voice shopping. Voice commerce is such an important topic, and there's no one better to cover it than Shilp. I'll be checking out uh, Harry Pappas' panels where he's bringing together some great thought leaders. Also, uh, Dr. Pruti uh, from the Mayo Clinic is going to be presenting on some of the innovative work they're doing. Also really intrigued by uh, what Ron Martinez is going to say in his presentation in the storytelling track. He's going to be talking about reinventing storytelling. The session I'm really looking forward to is Ethical Considerations for Conversation Design by Brooke Hawkins. Without ethics in design, we're going to have a really big trust problem. And so it's imperative that we create experiences that are ethical, that people can trust and will actually want to use. If we don't, it's actually going to set the technology back. I am super excited about all the choices at Project Voice this year. Student creation allows for students to demonstrate at the highest level of learning. So I cannot wait to see how a fifth grader changed the game on Tuesday. I'm already super excited about the panel Voice Tech Abroad January 14th. It's the Tuesday uh, during the conference at 11 a.m. And uh, James Porter, Atva Levin, Kane Sims and me we will discuss the emerging trends from the European voice industry. And the other talk that I'm super interested about is the opening keynote from Kathy Pearl on Wednesday, uh, because she is an absolutely amazing person and an industry leader in voice design. And we will see each other during Project Voice in Chattanooga, Tennessee. See you soon. And we're really excited for all of Project Voice 2020, but we're really looking forward to Kane Sims' talk on voice user experience best practices because we're just really big fans of his podcast. We'll see you all there. I'm looking forward to see the talk of Brooke Hawkins about the ethical part of voice technology because the ethical and accessibility part cannot be emphasized enough we're excited about Project Voice and we look forward to hearing the talks on K through 12 as, as well as healthcare. Uh, another talk you should check out is the new ways users will engage and how brands can capitalize by Dave and Catherine. Um, that should bring up a bunch of great points for brands out there. I think it's really cool how the, suit, the organizers have taken the content and spread it out across three days. So there's an Alexa skills day, a Google apps day, and a Bixby day. And that's great because instead of having to manage multiple tracks and miss things you might want to see, you can actually see it all. I have to admit though, I am also really excited about some of the other presentations going on. In particular, Jeremy Wilkins' presentation on designing conversations for kids and Kathy Pearl's presentation, which is always a fantastic one. The session I am looking most forward to seeing is the Chatbots Prototyping and Voice session that's on Tuesday. One event that I'm really looking forward to at Project Voice is on Thursday, right before our panel at 1.45, Nico Vori from Drive Time will be talking about voice-enabled games in the car. And I really think this is a great extension of the, of the voice-first world. I'm really looking forward to it. Hope to see you there.